Today, we're playing a gin deck, but not in the way that you might think. This is a pretty straightforward gin deck. It has all the usual suspects like Crackshot, Corsair, Legion, Saboteur, Boom Crew, Rookie, Doom Beast, all that good burn stuff. But instead of playing it with Noxus and Annie, so we're losing access to Decimate and Fervor, we're playing it with Twisted Fate, Pilfered Goods, and Black Market Merchant. So it's definitely going to be a little bit less burn, but instead of the Pyromaniac Child, we're playing the Cardmaster to have the red card, which is just an insane board clear tool in this meta. And we're also running cards like Zap's Raven to pull some of our make it rains or even to pull the Pilfer Goods to draw some additional cards. Jin levels super fast still, so you're basically using Jin as your Decimate, where you put him in the stack to do that four damage to the Nexus with his ability. And we're running cards like Moss Harpoon, which is, I'm not entirely sure about this card. You might want to switch it out for something that's a little more aggressive, maybe even a stun card like the Sentry or something. You could experiment with that, but the core of the deck is really just the Eye of Naga Kaboro, Zap Sprave, and Pilfered Goods. So it's a fade, making sure that as a burn deck, your hand just never runs out of fuel. I had a great time with this deck because it's built water and built water is just kind of back to their glory days where they actually do what the region did during Rising Tides instead of that elusive Nami or Tom Kench nonsense. Don't get me wrong, I, I still kind of like Tom Kench, but his archetype is just weird. Like all those cards that support him don't fit in any other build water deck. And that's just kind of how I think build water lost some of its flavor. But this deck is still all about that with Jin and the burn. So let me know what you think. But before we get into the gameplay, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is this huge online community where you can learn pretty much any skill you could ever want to. Sharing skills, you know, it's all in the name. Now, I get a lot of questions from you guys, mostly about how I managed to pull off that Lulu cosplay, but also a lot of comments on how I edit my videos, how I started and grew my YouTube channel, that kind of stuff. Well, for all of those questions, Skillshare is the place to be. They have all kinds of classes about how to learn Premiere Pro or how to create engaging videos or this editing efficiency class by Charles Carter I've actually been using about how to learn to edit and produce videos in an efficient and stress reducing manner, which is something I'm finally getting better at now. So no matter what your skill level is, there's something here for you. Now get this, the first thousand people to join Skillshare using my link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare and then it's just nine euros a month after that. And it's not just creative stuff, okay? They got business classes, finance classes, self-improvement classes, really anything. So if you're ready to start learning that skill you always wanted to, this is your chance. Click my link down below, join Skillshare and get started today. Okay, now let's get into that gameplay. All right, so... First game is going to be against Spider Aggro. I feel like generally any deck with Twisted Fate is going to do pretty well against Spider Aggro. We'll see how this one goes. And we drew the Twisted Fate. And the Jit. Not an important. Okay. We missed the one drop though. Never great. Alright, don't have a third one, please. They always have a third one. All right. You hate to see it. All right, we're at uh, we're at fourteen. Of course so if we get this red card out, it's pretty good. Okay, if opponent blocks here and doesn't open attack next turn, it's really juicy. All right, let's see. All right, just don't open attack. Why would you open attack? You never open attack here. You gotta, you gotta make more minions. You gotta make your board bigger. I know what ah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's not be greedy. Let's just, let's just get this red card out there. Um. Yeah. So we we sack the TF here every time. All right. It, it, we should have waited. You won't suck alone. I really wanted to have to die. Charmed, I'm sure. Well, that's not good. Uh, I guess if we waited, we could have killed that too, but it, it would have been so greedy, right? Play you. We do get some stuns in here. Let's see. Next spell will stun, so we get to kill like this one. All right, let's see how this goes. It's aggro versus aggro, but we're not looking great. Wait, actually, are you at... So there is, like, an argument to be made for us to have used uh, this, right? Now it's better to do it next turn. If we did it this turn, we could have killed two minions, but it wouldn't have made a big difference. Because it's these two and these two block anyway. All right, fine. We'll take it. 
This is a stun. How does that work? If they don't break, they'll burn. If it's a decimate, then we're just dead, right? Which, uh, I guess they always have it. We're decimateless aggro. Here it comes. Okay, so we're alive. Barely. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go down to one. We have to play something, right? There's no way they run Blaze Edge. If they do, I deserve to die. Let's just let's just get this out here. Don't forget. Give me something good. Found it. Do you level? Uh, you don't level, right? Wait, do you level? Wait, one. Ugh. I don't know how this works. I actually think we have to play this, but then we lose access to this. No, we can't give opponent an action, right? But they didn't have Decimate last turn, and they would have used it because we were dead. All right, let's do it. Keep up, keep up. Maybe this will help us play around. No. They top decked it. We had to steal a fervor there. If we stole a fervor, it was fine. GG. I was really expecting this deck to be super good after the buffs, but they... Uh, I've not seen them. I've not seen them at all. It must be because um, Nakatok on three can now block a Zed, which is pretty spectacular. All right, we got a pretty decent hand over here. I feel like it might be correct to just hard mulligan for TF in a lot of situations. I'm not really sure. And what a shame it is every single time you play Jin and you realize he's just... All he is is an aggro champion. That's all it is. Let's get him, crew. We take three, and then next turn we have a pretty sweet attack. So the deck I've been having a lot of success with is Akshan Sivir with Targon. It's been a great time, honestly. I was not expecting it at all. Targon with Chip and Winding Light feels so good. Winning Light? The Winding Light. I never played much Akshan Sivir Damasya, but that deck feels uh, like it, it just... It suits me perfectly, you know? Sometimes you just have that. Where a deck just, deck just like... Fits your playstyle exactly. Alright, hit him with the snooze. There are, there are not that many decks that do that. I gotta be honest, like almost every single Victor deck did that for me. But this one is just a really clean mid-range deck. This feels really good. So you always wait for the ephemeral one and you stun it. Just don't let them summon anymore. That's, uh, that's basically how you play against this deck. Because if they got to attack, they would have summoned another one. Full swing. Surprising they block here and not... Yep. Mm, okay. It's pretty good for us. We can play Black Market into Pilfer Goods. Would have been nice to have that die. I'm not gonna lie, but... Uh... Oh, the nine. You weren't using it. That's a nice stun too. Wait, a synergy? <laughs> All right. Seven out of twelve. Wait, this is insane for Jin. Actually, wait, there's synergy everywhere. One is a nine HP. We're at seven out of twelve. So opponent's gonna play Hecarim. We can do that too. Now we pray they don't play Haunted Relic. That's that's an easy deny. All right. See, this is how you play this deck. You literally stop every single ephemeral attack they have. Because this would have been uh, two two ones plus two sharks. And with this on the board, that's pretty devastating, man. How far? Are you? Nine out of 12. Okay, so we play this now. We just go for Lethal next turn. We play this now, and then we play Jin. We stun and Jin levels. I, I wanted board space anyway, so sure. Opponent heals one. Okay. We should do that. See what opponent plays here. If we seek forgiveness, we must commit all. 
Actually, um, playing Jin first was better, huh? Playing Jin first meant that we would stun this. Oh, that's a misplay, actually. Yeah, that is a misplay. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. We are at the threshold. Of yeah, that's not correct. Great. Unless they have another one. Because uh, a level Jin will just seal the deal here. Through my work, you shall transcend. Man, I love Jin. I just wish he wasn't an aggro champion, man. I want to play so many Jin decks. Okay, that's not our stun. All right. Um, let's see. How awkward does that make things for us? Just attack here. Put him blocked with this. I want the disc on, right? So I guess this is the best attack. I have prepared something very special. Go down to five. Never mind. I have this on the board still. The four voice line? Oh, wait, what do you have? A tune of courage for our companions. If it's okay, at least it's not Hecarim. Hecarim would have actually been a pretty disaster. And a one, two, three. I mean, uh, hmm. It was probably correct to use this without triggering it. That bubbles do you have? Mogwai intro? Yeah, I guess you can win them all. Right, here we go. Deal four to all stunned enemies and the enemy nexus. This, people. this is five damage. And then with the red card, it's lethal, right? right. Kind of scared of this card. I, I think playing cards might have been the correct move. We play on. Steady breathing. Zero out of three. I mean, we just take this. Opponent goes to one. Yeah. Opponent goes to two. Feels pretty awkward, huh? I feel like I could have... Uh, I could have probably made a few more cleaner plays to close this game out. But yeah, the red card is going to be devastating for opponent here. Oh, that's just lethal with these two. Yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> Uh, cool. Hey, we won. All right. There, there's just too much. There's too much going on in the skill stack here on the spell stack. All right, got the Vladimir mode in. Nice. GG. Yeah, no, I, I played that like a monkey. I was just having fun with the fireworks. Like a chimp with a machine gun. Mono Viego. Okay, so we keep the Jin because Jin is just good at pinging Nexus. And he kind of like having Jin in your hand just kind of levels himself, right? That's uh, That's pretty good. It's a good card. They played our 2 1. We parlay it. Not. My first big mission. Okay. So we swing here. Oh, okay. I can. Hmm. No, we can't play that because it just gets punished by the Cam of Run Soldier really hard. I hope this works. But this is fine. Gotta find a gift for an action. Right, Arda? Um, so we let opponent trade here, and then we parlay it. Could be a Val Feaster. Well, it will be a Val Feaster at some point. Could have been better. Honestly, missing one drop against this deck uh, usually feels pretty bad. Got it. We just pass here. There's the Cam of Warren. Still pass. Drop him up tight. Oh, there pull here. I will showcase the beauty of tragedy. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the one I was worried about, but there's really just not much we can do about it. Okay, uh, yeah, really solid for opponent here, but maybe we can get under it. Beautiful. Is it not? This gets glimpsed. Quite bad for us. Diego is at five. We get the plunder off. Yeah, it's a glimpse.
With the power of time, the possibilities are endless. Let's get him, crew! Through the coral! Our performance begins. Can I think again? No way. I will give him a show to remember. Alright, let's see. This is gonna be a really strange game, probably. Um, okay. Let's see. So, we play this. We can block that. Submission or death for all who need. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. If, yeah, if the Viego doesn't die to like an hourglass or something, it's quite devastating. Yep. Yeah, they had a very solid hand. Very premium. Glimpse hourglass plus like just these minions early game, really rough to deal with. Let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Well, that's not a bad steal actually. Six out of twelve. Let's do this. I have prepared something very special. It'll have to be the way. The opponent's at eight. So are we. We gotta make do with what we have. Oh, so it doesn't get stunned. Ah, okay. I actually forgot that that fizzles. That's a little bit awkward. Okay. But this is a really good card, and we have draw. That's also a very good card. Mm, I think we should start with TF then, potentially. That's what my opponent plays. Because if we play Camel for a Soldier. Probably keep this for uh, the atrocity. We're looking for another gin, if possible. I like this because it doesn't proc Viego, right? And if we're at six. I'm always up for a round or two. If we're at six, I mean, yeah, we are in. Atrocity range, but we will be either way, and I really cannot give up this or this. These these two are like our secure damage. Okay, that doesn't really do a lot. Charge. Wait, what? Oh, just to get the blocker? Maybe it's Jin? Atrocity is a thing, but it would be a thing regardless. Right, of Places, people. The curtain rises. Wait. Does this work? Does this deal the four from Jin? It does, right? So we <laughs> Okay, I've just been Four, this is six damage, and the opponent is at minus four, so it does, okay. I'm pretty sure it deals the damage from Jin this way, right? The level damage? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one. Okay, if opponent has right, oh god, right is really not good. Aw, oh, it's gonna be a right, isn't it? Oh, right will be so sad. It's a right. Oh, I am so sad right now. Yeah. Well, technically we're still not dead. Let's see. We're not dead. 
Actually, yeah, we are. We have no fearsome walkers. Actually, we do. Yeah, Gave us almost level. We go down to one? Nah, we shouldn't, right? TF is almost leveled. It would be so sad if TF dies here. Oh, my greed is gonna... My greed is gonna cost me, dude. Can they ever... Yeah, no, I have to. I have to. I have to. If I don't do it, and I have like a glimpse of one of these units, and this grows to six, and then we're still dead. But this would be pretty funny if it worked. Nothing's impossible, right? I'm already surprised we're holding on for this long. Opponent just kind of slamming their desk because of pilfered goods. Oh, okay, we're not dead. Okay, okay. Okay. Feels really bad sacking a 7 out of 9 TF, but what can you do? Oh no. Atrocity here. I mean, they would have done it before, right? What, what is this play? I do this for her, for us. Okay. I, I find that kind of strange. I don't think that's correct, is it? Okay, opponent triple Viego, though, so I mean, yeah, damn. They get another miss for that? That's how that works. Wait, that is not fair. Alright, I have to pull some magic here, man. Oh my god. What is this hand? Triple Viego, double Hydra Vine, and a right to stop lethal? Alright, here we go. There we go. Just don't block. Let me have this. Unbelievable. Alright. We're gonna steal Treasure Seeker plus Atrocity. Actually, no, that doesn't even work. Cam of War and Soldier plus Atrocity. Let's go. Right here. No, we can't even play it because Viego steals it. Never mind. <laughs> I can't believe it. Ah. Uh, eh, GG. Good hustle, but Triple Viego is really difficult to beat, turns out. We have a Viego Mono deck? That's a rough card to beat. Alright, GG. One less Viego, and I think we were actually fine. If this wasn't a Viego, opponent wouldn't have, like, a triple blocker, right? It would have been close. Is this the same opponent? Uh, wait. Are, oh god, what's up with the Mono Viegos? Oh no. I don't like them very much. Go get that shiny devil. Explosives primed. I don't think it's the same opponent. Right? Okay, do not a vile feast me, please. Would make me very happy. My first big mission. Everything's in place. Yeah. Ooh. Get those skills on the stack for Jin. Huh? I would have, uh. Would I have played like that? Yeah, probably. I don't think that was a better way to do it. Actually, uh, no, Valfie said to go after the, the combat. No, it doesn't matter. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Valfies does make the early game a little rough, but we're, we're still chilling. Okay, what does opponent play here for for men? That's spicy. Don't tell me you have a triple glimpse. That is actual cheating. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Viego? I do this for her. For us. So we just chill here. We just go wide. We let the spider chill. We don't kill it. Uh, honestly, we probably pill for goods too. 
Yeah, I think we do this. One has one mana, this dies. Now opponent gets the miss, so they can trigger a miss from this. That means they only have Viego as blocker next turn, which makes this wing pretty devastating. We just take this six damage and we open attack next turn and we probably kill opponent. I, I think that was really good killing that spider. That was actually kind of insane. Yeah, killing that spider, that was very good. Because now opponent doesn't have a blocker. If they just played that and passed, Viego would have summoned a blocker, right? That's exactly lethal. I can live with that. I can. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, okay, that's all we needed. All right, cool. I, I don't mind that at all. Sure, again, really don't care. I never miss. Okay, sure. <laughs> Is Jin leveled yet? Nine. Close. Oh, hey, cool. Welcome. Welcome to the party, Doom Beast. You were all I was looking for. Yeah, opponent's called Beatdown, but uh, all that happened was opponent receiving a beatdown. That is such an interesting play. So, opponent wants to atrocity us next turn. That is really funny. Killed a simp before it's too late. Alright, GG. <laughs> you have been a marvelous audience. Overwhelm. I'm pretty sure that's favored for us. Okay. Try to dodge the Omen Hawk. Try to dodge the bird. I think bird's fine. But they usually have it. Bird incoming. Also, I, I'm really not sure why I'm using this Pulsefire board. I'm not even using Pulsefire Jin because I just like his classic one more. Look at this. This is majestic. Alright, now don't land the chime on the two drop. I would appreciate. Dude, it's actually just so insane how hard this dictates the game, right? I I feel like this should not be a thing. Let's get him, crew. Everything's in place. Boom. Gonna block this, but at least we have red card, I guess. Oh man, that chime is so rough. Wow. I mean, it makes sense. I'm gonna like, probably just win the game with this thing alone. All right. Mm, we just have to turbo the Jin. Play for the stuns. I do not think that this deck runs any kind of interaction. So if we can just get the Jin to throw some stuns out, it's probably pretty good for us. There's more trying. I will showcase the play the spirits. Yeah, I, I don't know. We're at 5 HP. Uh, early time, pretty good. Pr pr pretty good. My god. Uh, two more. All right, let's see. <laughs> man, uh, Bard is one hell of a champion. Yeah, it's just this, man. Uh, four, three. That's a lot of damage. Dead in their tracks. On the trick. I will give them a show to I do love the way that looks. Sadly, we're probably still dead this turn, right? Uh, well, we can defend with this. Yeah, hmm. If there was no chime on this, it would actually be in range for this. Alright, let's see. I didn't do anything. Oh, no. We had a really, really good start that just could not deal with, with chimes. It was just one stat too much. List the heck for Ram. Yeah, let's get.
Okay, nice. Pretty good hand. No one's the wiser. Uh, the card they're looking for is gonna be the two three. Oh, perfect! Being right on time. Right on time to start proccing the effect. Yeah. I don't carry it away. We're attacking here. Alright, so next one could be Jin. Jin is scary. Jin is actually a problem. Uh, I'm saying Jin, but I meant um, Zed, obviously. Looking for Kiev? Yeah. My first big mission. Let's go white. Scared for the uh, dragon ambush, but it's not the worst. If we seek forgiveness, we must commit all. What we do is so much bigger than us both. I break music and war. Um. Hmm. I will be on. Just gonna put this here. Okay, we'll pass. Um, might need to pay uh, pay six mana to stop whatever opponent plays here. That's something we can deal with. Okay, if that's all, then yeah, we'll take ten and we'll try to win next turn, right? This is a pretty smart play by opponent because now they have the potential to use a uh, okay. But this was like uh, threatening a little more damage than I was comfortable with. And it was a really good trade for us. So opponent set up a really good bait. If they had like twin discipline, two of them, they would have had perfect lethal. I mean, they don't know we run Monster Harpoon, right? But yeah, it, it would have been a good lead. Yeah, so now instead we have a really sweet attack. That we have to take. Much as I want to play that one drop. Three damage line. So now it's just all gonna be about, can we survive the next turn? Oh, did I order wrong? Wait, Jin should have gone first. Oh, I missed that. Wait. That was not good. And a one, two, Wait, that was bad. Oh, no. Jin goes first. I see. I have my orders. Don't play Dragon Ambush. Too sharp. Not Hecarim. Break against me. Moving into sight. Well, I didn't do anything. Well, it surely has something here. Yeah. Oh, what? I have prepared something very special. Huh? What? No one's the one. Dragon Ambush anyway? What is it? Dragon Ambush is four. Dragon Ambush is game winning for them. It is Dragon Ambush. Oof. Deny. Close. It's exactly lethal, right? No, it's slightly off. Oh, there's only one shark. Ready. Oh, pedestrian. Okay, we just gotta hope there's no twin. If there's twin, then well played by opponent. I let opponent have two sharks. Just gonna put this here. Don't mind me. Fourteen damage to my little. Fourteen. Beautiful. Eighteen levels to kill the stack. I believe that we can trigger Jin an additional time with our spells. We play on. Your ancestors yeah, it's lethal. I w <sighs> Playing this would have been so good too, but then if they develop like another dragon ambush, whatever. Two out of three. Two out of three. 
I have prepared something very special. One off. Oh no. For one off, please. Am I positioning this wrong? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, that's because of the second trigger. Okay. Oh man, all those skills. Beautiful. Alright, it's at zero out of three. Melodies to rouse hearts and steady hands. Okay, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but it's uh oh, that's lethal, right? That's gotta be. That's gotta be. Come on. Come on. Oh. For all <laughs> what a game to close it out with. Alright, GG. What a fun deck. Probably worse than Annie, Jid, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs>